Are you looking for a way to get better at the guitar that's fun and fast? Stick around for this lesson and I will show you how. Hi, I'm Kevin from Relax and Learn Guitar, where I help music lovers over 40 become the guitar players they've always wanted to be. In this lesson, I'm going to be talking about backing tracks and how you can use backing tracks to get better at the guitar and make practice a whole lot more fun. So let's get into it. And while we're doing that, I want to let people know I'm going to leave a link in this description. There is a great YouTube channel, uh, Tom Bailey Backing Tracks. I'll leave a link to his channel in the description, and I highly recommend using that channel. He has some great stuff on there, very talented guy. Uh, down to earth and you can use the uh, backing tracks on that channel to do some of the things I'm going to show you in this video to uh, put into your practice routine and get better at playing the guitar. So check this channel out, it's really good. So if you don't know what a backing track is, it's basically some music that has like the drums, the bass, maybe some keyboard, some guitar that you can listen to and play along with and you can practice a whole bunch of things with these backing tracks. You can get better at everything from solos and scales and chord progressions and rhythm. I'm going to show you a couple of ways to use a backing track like that. So if you uh, check out this backing track on Tom Bailey's backing track YouTube channel, this one's an uh, A minor uh, acoustic guitar backing track. It's really cool. I'm going to show you some of the things you can do with it. So one of the first things you can do if you're a true beginner is to practice your rhythm. I tell folks when starting on it's really important. I get a lot of questions from members about how do I get better at strumming and rhythm. You can just turn on the backing track and start with simple, mute your strings and strum down strums. Move up to, and those are like quarter notes. You can add in eighth notes. You can make up your own strum patterns. Just whatever sounds good. It's a great way to kind of start viewing the guitar as a rhythm instrument. So that's kind of possibility number one. The other thing that's great about his channel is he actually has the chords on the video screen. So you can do a lot of just practicing playing your chords, learning the shapes, changing those in time and clean and smooth, and just strumming along. So kind of ch chord changes is number two. Number three is kind of like actually, you know, strumming along with those chords on that track. It's kind of like having a little band to play along with. makes it a lot more interesting and he makes it really easy by having everything you need right there on the screen. The other thing that he has on the screen is the scales that are part of the backing track so you can actually learn uh, and actually practice playing scales with the backing track. makes it a lot more fun and easy to do that and if you're liking this video be sure and hit that like button so more people can see the video and learn from it as well so another thing you can do is actually practice different techniques you can practice your slides hammer-ons pull-offs there's all kinds of cool things you can do having that music behind you to help you stay in rhythm and in time and probably the most popular way people use backing tracks is to actually make up their own. Their own lines, own phrases. And that's a great way too to use backing tracks just to get better, to have more fun, and to make things much more interesting. So the guitar is just never ending as far as the possibilities. I've seen the members that have used this suggestion really flourish with their guitar playing and get better and have fun practicing. Like, who could have thought that playing scales would be fun? 
So definitely check it out. You can also check out this video for another fun and easy way to get better at playing the guitar and having fun with it. And I will see you guys for the next lesson.